Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement dino dungeon. Today I'm gonna show you guys my collection of sea animals because we have a new bag of figures to add to our collection, guys. Plenty of new fish and stuff. They are all inside this pack. I have no idea what they are, so let's open this and place them into our fish and um, other sea animals collection. I'm pretty excited about this. Let's have a look. Okay guys, so let's open this pack up and see what's inside, okay? So, wow, okay, so they have basically given me some trees as some free gift because I don't remember ordering them. And um, let's have a look at this. What is this? Wow, all of this seems to be very, very cool figures. So let's have a look at the first figure right here. What kind of fish is this actually? Hopefully, we, we do have the name inside, otherwise it will be really difficult for us to guess what are the name for each fish. Let's see. Okay, it comes with a little tag right here. So hopefully it tells us the name. I don't think so. Okay, so what is this exactly? Let's have a look. Wow. It looks like a trot to me. Looks really beautiful. I think in my order list, I should be able to find out what this is. Let me take a look. Alright guys, I've basically, you know, checked the entire order list and I realized that this is actually a bass, a sea bass. Very nice. I think we also have a sea bass in our collection, okay? But I'm very happy that we have a new sea bass and this figure looks very cool. I love the detailing on this, so let's place this one right here and let's move on and take a look at another fish. Um, how about this one? Wow, this one looks very cool. Let's um open this up. I have no idea what this is as well, but it looks like a um what kind of fish is this? I have no idea. So if you guys know, please let me know down below. It looks like an arowana to me. No idea. Let's try to find a name. No, that is that isn't any name on this. But I'm gonna do some research on this and let you guys know it. All right, guys. So this is actually a kind of long fish, which is pretty awesome. Okay. So this is very cool. I've never have a long fish before. So this one is definitely going into our new um, fish collection. So okay, the next one. What is this? Let's have a look at this. This is a tuna. A large size tuna, as you guys can see. Very beautiful little figure. It's blue in color. Quite a heavy figure. So this is also our very first tuna fish figure. Super excited about this. Next up, let's have a look at this. This is a tank. From what I know, this is actually a kind of a yellow tail tank. And you can see, it basically means, um yeah, yellow tail in Chinese right here and it looks very much like a blue tank and um, there's a little tie right here so let's get this one out so I'm very happy to have added you know a new species to our collection so this one is a sea bass okay and this one right here it's another new figure and it is known as a cushion cup yeah our very first Cop figure and you can see this figure actually it's very very big and it's really really beautiful as well it's painted very nicely i love the paint work on this uh, looks you know beautiful okay hopefully oh wow. and it can still stand which is awesome okay this one it's a black snapper yeah very nice as well our very first snapper figure Wow, so gorgeous. This figure is gorgeous. It's very well detailed and it seems to be pretty high quality except that it has a line right here which I don't really like but I think it is still a really fantastic figure. Black Snapper. This is our very first Black Snapper figure in our collection. Alright, next up. Wow, what is this? This one seems to be a pretty unique and um eerie looking fish let's get this out of um the pack okay so let me just cut cut a little slit right here let's tear this 
Wow, I have no idea what this is. It looks like a shark as well. If you guys have any idea what this is, I can do some research and have a look right now. All right, just give me a second. Okay, guys, so I've done some research and it seems to be a kind of red fish. I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, let me know down in the comment section below. But it definitely seems very weird. Yeah, I mean, if you take a look at this, the body is very long and it looks very, very weird when it comes to the eyes as well. It's this little, little hook in front. So it's definitely a very, very unique looking fish. Okay, next up, what do we have right here? Wow, this one seems to be... I'm not too sure. It seems like a lizard. It seems like a you know, salamander kind of fish. So let's have a look at this. Wow. I have no idea. I mean, if they have included like the English name below, I think it will be cool. Yeah, definitely looks like a salamander kind of fish to me. Um, let me check this out. Okay, guys. So I've realized that this is actually known as a Nile beacher. I think the scientific names, it's something along the line of Polyterips beacher and it is a kind of um you know fish that is able to like walk on land with their fins which is pretty incredible and it looks very weird as well i've never heard of this species before so i'm very happy that we actually get to know like new species just by you know having all these new figures wow this one looks weird as well wow what is this let's open this up and have a look this fish seem to be very very weird looking okay if you take a look at this one side of it is actually white and the other side is like the eyes are actually right here wow what kind of fish is this it looks super weird i definitely need to find out more about this okay so this fish right here is actually known as the flat fish it's basically like lying flat on the ocean sea floor and yes the eyes are not like, you know, printed wrongly. They are actually on one side of the body. And the eyes will actually move. I mean, the, the you know, the spacing, the positioning of the eyes will actually migrate as they grow. Which is very weird as you guys can see. It definitely looks like a normal fish. But the eyes is actually on one side only. Very, very weird. I think this has got to be one of the weirdest, you know, collection of fish in our, in our entire collection. What about this one? Okay, this one seems to be quite a nice figure. All right, let's get this one out. It seems to be, you know, somewhat related to a trout. I'm not too sure. It looks like, you know, this part right here definitely looks like a shark as well. Very sharp looking, very cool. Let me do some research and let you guys know, okay? All right, guys, this is actually known as a Chinese sturgeon and they are actually critically endangered, okay? Very nice. So right here, you can see we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten new fish that have been added to our sea animals collection. I'm super happy. I'm going to find out more facts about this ten fish right here and let you guys know in the next video okay but now let's place all these figures back into our box you know just quickly this is an ichthyosaurus which is like a prehistoric sea animal we have a manta ray right here this is another manta ray this is a flying fish you can easily recognize this ladderback sea turtle okay and what is this blue spotted ray a mini manta ray this one, I have no idea what kind of um, ray this is. It could be a manta ray as well. We have two tiny little moray ewes. Here's a bigger one, a bigger moray ewe, quite a nice one. We have a warrior's and um, gulpies ewe. I can't remember, so I need the help of you guys. These new figures, I definitely need some time to remember their names, so I need the help of you guys to help me remember, okay? So this is a green sea turtle. Okay, we have two more ladderback sea turtles right here. Both are very cool. And here it's a um, another green sea turtle. This is actually a loggerhead sea turtle. And um, sea turtle right here. We have a stingray, as you guys can see. Comes with a sting right behind. A sea turtle baby. Nice. 
koi fish, we have two of them. In koi fish, they are known to be able to live up to like 100 or even 200 years old. So we have two color variations. We also have a clown fish right here, clown anemonium fish. In fact, we have um, two more. This one is Nemo. And here's another one from Safari LTD. It's a nice one. It's a red ear slider right here. Of course, it is not exactly like a sea animal. Our marble ray, a kind of um, ray. And you can see the patterns on his body. It looks like the patterns of a marble stone. This is a box fish. We have quite a number of polar bears and a lot of them are actually new. This one is a new one. Um, here is another polar bear cup. Quite a nice one. And this one, it's a frogfish. Nice. A salmon. Salmon is easily recognizable. And um, this is a largemouth bass. Okay. This one, I think it's um, sea bass as well. I'm gonna go through all this names again which I, I don't think I can remember to be honest so I definitely need the help of you guys in the next video but of course I'm gonna you know be going through a lot more in detail so that I can actually try to tell you guys some facts Waris, um, cow nose ray this is a sailfish beautiful little one and here is a Cam's Ridley sea turtle baby which is a nice one as well this is a fox face rabbit fish all right okay let's see what else we've got um here we have a catfish so you can see it has like whiskers it is not exactly like a sea animal because it can actually be found in like rivers small little rivers and lakes um murky swamps as well a couple of polar bear carps super adorable okay here we have some random rays which have no idea what you know species they are because there are no names and here this is most likely an eagle ray i think a, a mini manta ray angler fish hopefully we can get like new angler fish figures really soon because we really want to expand our fish collection and here's another angler fish this one i think it looks like a tuna to me I'm not exactly sure, but it definitely looks like a tuna to me. It looks very much like this one right here. It could be a tuna. This is a mini blue tang. And um, a sea turtle. Um, this is a prehistoric fish known as a coelocanth. Okay. And this is a goliath grouper. Nudie branch. Hopefully we are able to get more like nudie branch. Um, figures that would be nice and this one it's a piranha nice piranha okay walrus right here okay and um shark a mini safari ltd good luck mini and this is a fox face another fox face rabbit fish blue tank right here so yeah i think in the next video let's go through our collection again we're going to tell you guys like more facts about each of um, the sea animal polar bear which is a marine mammal okay let's have a look at all of this again so if this one is actually a chinese sturgeon i can still remember this this one it's a tuna okay um this it's a sea bass this one is easily i mean this one you can definitely remember this quite easily it's a flat fish um this one it's a oh what is this known as again a, a nile bircher a nile bircher this is a black snapper black snapper this is a yellow tail tank i think and um this one I, I still need to remember this one it's a crotion cup a cup it's like a magic cup you know you guys know and this one, yeah, this one is the one which I can't really remember. So let's check out the names of this two and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay, so this is a long fish and this is a red fish. So I think we have managed to remember the names of all the new fish again. Let's try this again. This is a Chinese sturgeon. Nice. A tuna. This is a yellowtail tank. Hopefully we got this correct. I think so. I think so. Not too sure. This is a sea bass. Alright. 
Um, this is a Nile Nile Bircher. Flatfish, longfish, redfish, and um, crucian cup. And this is a black snapper. So I'm super happy. Yes, we finally are able to remember the names of this 10 new fish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So in the next one, I'm going to tell you more facts about this 10 new additions to our collection. I just can't wait to talk to you guys more about this 10 new fish, okay? See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.